somebody saying right now, I, I can't. I want to, but I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Defeat is not an option. But I'll mess up this week. You just don't know who I'll be around. Let God work that out for you. Trust Him. Trust Him. Don't trust yourself. No, trust God. When you trust yourself, that's when you mess up. When you trust God, that's when He keeps you. Galatians 5 and 1. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is awesome. He is awesome. Can we worship Him right now? Galatians 5 and 1 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. People of God, what the Lord is telling me to tell you today, He said, Stay free. Stay free. Don't get caught up in the bondage of seeking after things and people and stuff. Stay free. Don't get caught up in the bondage of who you used to be. Stay free. He also told me to tell you, keep the fire burning. How do I keep the fire burning, Pastor Mason? You begin to do the will of God in the book of John, chapter 15. He talks about all these things that begin to fulfill your joy. And one of those things is doing the will of God. If you don't have no joy, it's because you're not doing the will of God. Get in the will of God for your life. Stop making excuses. Stop being lazy. Get up and do what God said do. Because it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about God's agenda being done. It's about God's agenda being done. It is about God's agenda being done in this earth. You are saved for a reason. Somebody needs to see the light. Because some folks will never come to Six Carpenter Plaza. But they will see the Christ in you. But we have to represent. Because we're representing the kingdom. And you don't want people confused about what kingdom they're seeing. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I had to check myself yesterday at work because I got a room slacking. I was slumping down on my chair. Everybody else does it. You know, slumping down. And I got real relaxed and comfortable. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> and I had to begin to straighten up. So I realized I had to be an example. Amen? Amen. Heard my wife's voice speaking to me, straightening me up. I'm on the sign here. Oh, that's right. Hallelujah. Oh, see, that's the kind of woman you want. You want a woman, brother, that will speak into your life and begin to encourage you and build you up. Amen? But if you got somebody that's tearing you down and, and just crushing you and putting you under their feet, you need to get away from that. Oh, what if I'm married, Pastor Mick? Well, I'm sorry. I, I can't do nothing about that. You just got to work that out. <laughs> somebody thought they was going to get their walking papers. Woo, Pastor Mason. Yeah. Man. No. You better choose wisely and know what you get. It's more than about how they look and how this and that. All those things are important, amen? Because men are, we, we see. We see women feel. We see women feel. Amen? So those things are important yet. However, the inside should match the outside. The inside should look like Christ. Amen. 
point I was making. <laughs> but we got to be an example of people of God. There are people watching you who never thought of watching you before. They're not saying a word to you. You think they're not even noticing you. But every time you walk in, they're noticing you. They're watching you. Even if they see you on the side of your eye. They're watching you. They're listening to you. They're watching everything that you're doing. Why? Because you have proclaimed Christ. See, when you proclaim Christ, people come to expect something of you. But if you don't, they don't expect nothing of you. They say, well, you know, you expect something. Well, you got a sin, sin, sin. Why, hey, why do we get so surprised when sinners sin? They sin, it's what they do. They practice it. Oh, that one did that. Did you see that the other night? Did you see what he did on the news? But that's the fact. They ain't sin, of course. That's what they do. They did it. It's the devil. Come on, I'm already in there. Bless God. But people of God, let us be an example to unbelievers. Let us be an example to new Christians. New Christians, let me tell you this. You have that relationship with God. Keep it fresh. It does not have to dwindle down. You can keep it going. How do you keep it going? By keeping that relationship. Staying in contact with God. Getting around people who are strong, who can build you up. Staying out of fleshly areas. Amen? You know, well, you used to go boo boo at the club. <laughs> Shaking your shimmy. I don't know. Cabbage patching. Slide. Motorcycle driving or something. I don't know what they're doing at the club now. <laughs> Last time I was in the club was like 1992, so. You know, I've been out of it for a while. So whatever y'all, whatever they doing in the club now, cut it out. If you say, cut it out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Don't get with this little freedom teaching that people be doing. We free, we can go to the clubs. We free, we can drink. We free, we can do this. We free, we can do all this. But who is going to be affected by your actions? Have you heard somebody say either in school or at work or someplace that they say, I was going to go to such and such, but I can't go to them because they're doing the same thing I'm doing? That's a bad report. When sinners can say, oh, no, nah, I ain't going to them. Got Christ bumper stickers, the t-shirt, the hat, got the everything. What would Jesus do in the Bible? What would Jesus do in your sneaker? What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? All over the place. And they can't see Christ in you. It's not about what you're wearing. I gotta wear my cross every day. Why? It's this, it's this, it's this, it's this. You want to say good luck? Go ahead. Say it, say it. It's good luck. You know you want to say it, you just don't want to say it because you know, you're trying to be spiritual. I, I, I just wear it because, well, you know, I just like to keep it. It feels like I, I get power from it. You get power from a cross and you can't get no power from God. Something's wrong with that picture. What happens when somebody snatches that necklace off your neck? They go, you're power. <laughs> Dang on your power. Now what? <laughs> People of God, let us be an example. Bible says be an example in word and in deed and in love. They knew that they were disciples. Not because of their great profession, not because they knew Greek and Hebrew, not because they had the best website out there. Website. <laughs> But by their love. Amen. 